welcome back to Valerie's Home Design and Decor. Thank you so much for your support on the channel. Now, if you've never been here before, welcome. In this video, I will be looking at duvet covers, how to calculate how much fabric you will need to buy to make a custom duvet cover. We'll be using a queen duvet um, cover measurement for our calculations here you can just substitute um, the size duvet cover that you want to make and do your calculations so a uh, queen duvet cover is generally 90 inches by 90 inches when you're buying fabric for uh, making a custom duvet i suggest that you get sheet and fabric or double width fabric that will give you um wide enough fabric so you don't need to join fabric panels to make your duvet cover now for the width you will need to add increments for both sides and that is so you have enough fabric to stitch your side seams when you go to cut your duvet cover and for that I'll suggest an inch for each side which means I will add two inches to this 90 inches now we have 92 inches we will leave the width B for now because we'll be using sheeting fabric or double width fabric so we have wide enough fabric here for the width however we need to turn our attention to the length the length is important because that's what's going to give you the number of yards of fabric you need to make your duvet cover to begin with your duvet cover will be open at one end and it will be closed at the opposite end and you will need increments here for your seam allowance let's add one inch to this 90 inches for the seam allowance so we have 91 inches now i bought my duvet cover ready made and it really doesn't have any kind of zipper or button at the end where the duvet goes through it basically is just stitched part of the way across like so and then have a minimal flat stitch here i would suggest don't do it like that have enough fabric so that you can close your duvet either by using a zipper buttons fastener strip and or you can even overlap the fabric to close the end so for that i'll suggest that you do a double hem and a double hem will be two inches plus two inches four inches because you have one fold over and then another so we'll add four inches for the double hem by the way i'll link a video i have on the channel that explains about a double hem so you can take a look so that's 95 inches however our duvet cover has not one side but two sides right so we will take this 95 inches and we will multiply by two and that is why i added only the one inch for the bottom seam because we are now multiplying by two which essentially means that we are going to have two inches for that bottom hem and four more inches for the double hem on the back panel. 
So let's multiply by two. That's 190 inches. So what we do next is divide this 190 by 36. We divide by 36 because there are 36 inches in a yard. 190 divided by 36 equals 5.28. We will need 5.28 yards of fabric for a queen duvet cover. Double with fabric or sheeting fabric. However, what we can do is go ahead and round off the 5.28. But I, as I usually say, you never round down. You always round up because you will run the risk of being short on fabric if you choose to round down. So let's round up to 5.5, which is five and a half yards of fabric. However, you could also just go ahead and buy six yards of fabric so that you can make a couple pillowcases that can go along with your duvet covers. So let's say we'll need six yards of fabric. And if you want to find out how many meters this is, just go ahead and divide by 0.914 and you get how many meters you need. I hope that helps. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.